Hey guys, it's Andrew with Off Grid Solar Smart House, and today we have a special one for you. Blue Eddy sent me their all new B300K battery that is compatible with the AC200 Max. In this video, I'll show you the specs on the AC200 Max, then we'll go over the specs on the B300K. I'll show you guys how to combine those two systems together to act as one, and then we'll test it out on the generator transfer switch to power stuff in my house, and then at the end, I'll give you my final thoughts. Blue Eddy's AC200 Max was released around three years ago and it's still relevant. This system is well thought out and well designed. On the top of the unit we have two wireless charging pads at 15 watts. This system weighs around 63 pounds and is relatively easy to carry being that it is 63 pounds. This system has a 2048 watt hour battery and is expandable up to 8 kilowatt hours. Now, that was one of the major selling points when I first looked into this system over two and a half years ago was did the AC200 Max have battery capacity and if it didn't meet my needs, could I extend it? I did buy the B300 to make this system a five kilowatt system together, which is awesome. The AC200 Max is compatible with the B300, the new B300K and the B230. The system has a 2200 watt inverter and it has four AC outlets on the front, and these are at 20 amps. It has one NEMA TT30 connector for your RV at 30 amps. It has your traditional USB-A's, and it has one USB-C at 100 watts. It has some barrel connectors. It has your cigarette plug at 12 volt, 10 amps, and another one at 12 volt, 30 amps. This system has a nice LCD screen. It's touch. It has a lot of features in there that you can turn on, a lot of settings that you can mess with. And this system does have Bluetooth. You can connect to this with your smartphone via the Bluetooth and using the Blue Eddy app. You can turn on things such as the AC inverter, the DC inverter, and check on the battery life left. Another cool thing about this system is that it has 900 watts of solar input, 10 to 145 volts in at 15 amps, which gives you plenty of room to mess with your solar array and options to choose from to get to that 900 watts. Now to charge this thing via AC, it does require an external power brick and they came in two different sizes, a 500 watt, which had a loud fan, and another one that was a 400 watt one that was kind of silent. Introducing Blue Eddy's all new B300K battery. One cool thing about Blue Eddy is they don't forget about their older models like the AC200 Max or the AC300, which this battery is compatible with. Now this battery is a 2,764 watt hour battery with one button. It has the power button on the front and then it has indicator LED lights to let you know the status of the battery and it has one USB-A 12 watt port. The B300K weighs 65 pounds. It has a lithium iron phosphate battery rated at 4,000 life cycles at 80%. It also comes with a three year warranty. On the side of the unit, we have two battery expansion port slots. Now do keep in mind that there is no AC charging or DC input to charge this up. The only way to charge this unit is through a power station. On the back of the unit, we don't have much. We have some Blue Eddy information and a QR code, but I did find it weird that there's this weird cutout for like a mount of some sort. That might be something for future use. Now let's connect the AC200 Max to the B300K battery. When you get the B300K battery, we'll find this cable and this will allow us to connect them together. This is the P090A cable and the battery and the cable are compatible with the AC200L, the AC200 Max and the AC300. It's also, the battery is compatible with the AC500 
but you'll need a separate cable, which is the P090D cable. Now, when we start, let's put these tabs on the unlock mode on both of them. We're gonna connect this battery expansion cable to the back left port of the B300K. And then the other end of the cable will go to the AC200 Max on the battery expansion one slot. Make sure that both batteries are off just to be safe. Now I'm going to turn them both on. We're at 100% with zero expansion batteries. Now those tabs I was talking about, we need to take them from unlock to lock. Now the battery should change and now both batteries are compatible and paired together. Now that we have the AC200 Max and the B300K paired, let's tie it into the generator transfer switch to power some of my house. Now what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take this extension cord the other end is already attached to the transfer switch and I'm going to plug it into one of the AC outlets. Then I'm going to turn on the AC inverter power. Now we're going to come over to the generator transfer switch and throw on each breaker one at a time. You can hear the fans are going a little crazy. That's because we're probably drawing a lot of power. Let's check it out. So the inverter is at over around 2000 watts and we're bringing in around 800 watts of solar. Let's go see what we're powering. In this room, we got four ceiling lights on. In this room is my dining room. I got the dining room light. I got the living room TV on. We got the living room light on. We have the kitchen light going. We also got the refrigerator on. And then if we walk over here, we have three lights and a bathroom fan on. We have the hallway light on. We have the bedroom light. We also have a light on in this room. And in the bedroom, we have the bedroom light. We have the bedroom TV on and this portable window air conditioner that I rigged up because my window opens horizontally. <laughs> so I had a Jimmy rig it. So now if we go back to the AC 200 max, let's see how much power we're consuming and see how much solar power we're pulling in. So you can hear the fans are on and we're using around 900 watts of power and we're bringing in over 800 watts of solar. For those of you that have been watching my videos for a while, you might notice that I got a new roof. I've kind of just thrown the solar panels up here temporarily until I mount them permanently. The first set of panels are six in series parallel, 3S, 2P, and it's about 1100 watts of power and the cable goes underneath the eaves and then I have these two panels right here in series and it's 500 watts and that's for the enhanced charger when I need some extra juice and the cables just go into the house I'm getting around 900 watts of solar in the system's at 98% and I really like how the Blue Eddy tells you the voltage input. When the AC200 Max gets to 99%, it starts to throttle back the solar input. I think this is like a protective measure that Blue Eddy programmed into their unit. Once the Max hit 100%, I unplugged the solar input and ran my house for about 5 hours on the air conditioner. TV, lights, and fridge until the B300K died. 
So after I've depleted both the B300K and the AC200 Max, I plugged in the AC input to see if it would wake them both up, and it didn't. But when I plug in the solar input, it does wake up the AC200 Max, but does not wake up the B300K. You manually have to turn this on in order to charge it. I have my Blue Eddy AC200 Max set up on this mobile shelf that allows me to move it around. The shelf is from a company called Origami. I believe I got this on walmart.com. It's a three tiered system. On the bottom shelf, I have the B300 battery with the AC charger plugged into it at all times. And then I have the battery expansion cable going into the AC200 Max on the second slot. Then I have the enhanced charger plugged into the AC200 Max. This will allow me to get an additional 500 watts of solar if I need it. Then we have the expansion cable on slot one going into the B300K battery. And right here you can see all three batteries are registered and working. The AC200 Max was a concept for me to see if I can save some money on my utility bill, which I was able to do so much that I purchased the B300 to power even more devices. I think that the AC200 Max is a great power station. It does lack in some of the modern features such as Wi-Fi and quick charging, but for the price, you can't beat it. If you can find this thing for around 11, 1200 bucks, I think you're getting a steal. The B300K battery is a great addition to the Blue Eddy lineup. It's a very versatile battery. It works with multiple power stations such as the AC200L, the AC200 Max, AC300, and the AC500. If this is something you guys are interested in, I'll have it in the link in the description below. Once again, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.